What uh, what type of driver do you got? Oh yeah, it's a crank, five degree LD, forty six inch shaft, three X stiff. You know, the club, usual. Club man hit. The stock. Club man hit. The Golf Galaxy stock club. Uh, I get. I gotta say, Dicks. You got that at Dicks, huh? Dicks Sporting, Dick's Sporting Goods. Oh yeah. So here, here, you. Cheers. Oh, all right. Take the range finder. I guess I'll get the range Victor thinks he can now drive me with a four iron, so. He doesn't really understand the talent level I have. And it's not necessarily that he thinks that I that he can outdrive me with the four iron as much as it he doesn't think I can hit his three X. Because that's one of the hardest parts is actually being able to swing a three no, X. I five really think I can outdrive you with the four iron, that's why I'm Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. Oh, oh I can so beat that. Well, it's off the map. It feels pretty good though. He can beat it in straightness. That hurts the body. No, there's no way you hit that. I was way past you. That's a negative. It's gonna land your dad though. Let's go see. Let's go see. Oopsie daisy. There's Victor's four iron. Both my drives are up on the hill. Obviously, I'm gonna hit further. Look how accurate those are too. Not even. Two fifteen uphill. So playing probably. 225, 230? Yeah. 230 probably, I'd say. I'd say 230, yeah. What club? Five iron, just cut it. That's stupid long. 235 iron? Victor actually hit his drive up here on this hill, but no point in practicing a, a low runner where he can't get to the green. So we just threw his ball down here and just see what he would need to hit into the green if he hit the fairway in the tournament round. When I hit the fairway in the tournament round. Yeah. Why, what do you think um, helps you hit it so far, Victor? Um, for me, the biggest things that I changed was I got a lot of lag, and then I learned how to how to rotate a lot better. I know that's what Gabe's working on. Um, so yeah, for me, it was just uh, I mean, if you look at some of my old swings, you know, I'm like here, and then you know, flipping and stalling, and so the big thing for me when I started making my swing changes, um, all I did was. Strengthen my grip, and I just did this. I just did this one like this for hours. Every day, I would just go to the range and just do that until I could get to the point where I could pull my elbow in front. And uh, my checkpoint is my hands over the ball from the face on view and the club still at 90 degrees parallel. That's my checkpoint. So I mean, I just did that over and over and over. And then eventually I started making it bigger and then made it bigger. And then, you know, now I can get a full swing like that and then uh, the second part was, you know, learning how to rotate correctly, not, you know, doing this, but learning how to just move my spine and pelvis and connect everything together to rotate as hard as I could. And, and where, you, uh, where were you getting all this information from? Mr. Kelvin Miyahira. Again, go check him out. Go check out Kelvin Miyahira. Go check out Lucas Wald. I'll leave some uh, links in the description yeah, box for Jeffy, you guys. JeffyGolf.com. Uh, check there, out. There. That's the reason why I'm where I'm at today. That's the reason why I made it to Worlds. That's the reason why I can outdrive Gabriel with a four iron. You did not outdrive me, man. I why do you keep saying? You. He's delusional. I outdrive you. Come on, bro. I will murder you with the driver with the four iron. Just straight murk you. Well, you know what's good about Victor, too, and that's right at the pin, is that he can, not only does he get lag, but he sustains lag. Through it's impact. Huh? I think it's made a double eagle. Nah, it's too long. Oh, it's long. Um, you know, he so he, he keeps it through lags. So like me, I can gain lag in like maybe the first part of the transition, but by the time, yeah, like that. By the time you come into impact, if you already release it, it doesn't matter, you know? Yeah. So, I, can, I don't know how to, well, the way I hold it is uh, I'm thinking of pulling my left arm away from my chest. People talk about, uh, you know, keeping everything connected in the two glove drill and everything like that, but that just makes you. You know, flip it. Four? No four? Okay. Um, so I'm I'm always pulling my left arm away and I want my handle moving up. You know, that's how I'm that's how I'm holding my leg. And we'll throw some slow mo swings of uh, Victor up so you guys can see exactly what he's doing because he's actually doing what he's saying, etc. Okay guys out here on hole number seven, you know when it comes down to it, it's about what I've heard uh, one of my mentors say is controlling the controllable. So 
you know, like I said, the food you eat, the, what you drink, your breathing, post-shot routine, pre-shot routine, it's all about controlling what you can. You know, you can't control if you hit a shot and it hits a sprinkler head or if a car honks their horn. For me, if you're a PGA Tour player, someone takes a picture, you know, so it's, but we can control how we respond, our attitude and what we do, and then from there it's just execution. I think Jack Nicklaus said he had no problem ever losing a tournament as long as he didn't beat himself. So at the end of the day, that's what we're all trying to do. We're trying to make sure we stay in the present moment and we do the best we can because we're all at different levels, we're all at different abilities, we all hit different shots, some better than others, some worse than others. So it's not comparing yourself to anybody else or the tournament, but getting the most out of your round every day. Thank you, Tom. What, uh, what, what's the distance to the pin? 178 nine iron. Right at it. Ooh. No, right at your pops. He knows how to get out of the way. Ooh, that's gonna be a hard putt. What 178 you said? Yeah. Doesn't look that long, yeah? It doesn't. Oh, I love this. That was a nice sound right there. Okay you guys, thanks for watching that video. I just want to say good luck to Victor tomorrow and everybody who's you know doing the pre-qualifier. Cool things can happen if you get into the Monday. Usually you guys shoot a good round Monday, but at least you give yourself the opportunity. Yeah. So good luck to everybody. You guys make sure you check out um, Victor's friends, Lucas Wallet Golf, uh, Kelvin Me here, uh, Jeff Martin, all those guys. I'll put all the links down below so you guys can stay connected to you know people that me and Victor associate ourselves to, you know, to try to get better. Um, yeah, Victor, you got anything to say? Wait, hold on. Let me get the mic next to you. All right, that's too close. Play hard. All right, you guys, we're out of here. Peace. Thanks for watching that video, you guys. Victor, like he said, he's been, for the last couple years, he's only been working on Kelvin Miyahira stuff, which is the instructor I went to go see in Hawaii for two months. I think he knows more about the mechanics of the golf swing than any other instructor I've ever worked with or know of, just my opinion. So you guys, link up all links down below in the description box. Go check out Kelvin Miyahira's YouTube channel, his articles, links down below. Check out Lucas Wald, Facebook page, YouTube channel, links down below. Jeffy Golf. You guys, these are people that are giving away free information and better information than in my opinion than anybody else I'm seeing so for you guys to be able to grasp some of this information I think would be really good real beneficial for your game and it's free so you guys thanks for watching more videos to come Gabriel right here represent the movement towards improvement I'm out of here peace